What is it like to have kids in the world's northernmost town? Today, we're gonna find out. One thing I've always wondered about is, what is it like to raise a family in Longyearbyen? Not only do we have the daily threat of polar bears and cold winters with temperatures down to minus 30 degrees, we also have intense seasons. Polar night with its four months of darkness and a long summer of endless sun. So how does a family with two kids navigate all of this? Does it affect the children? The only way to know is to find out. It is 4 p.m. now in Longyearbyen and we're gonna go with Arvidas and pick up his kids from the school. So we're gonna see a day in his life, what it's like to have kids here and just how everything works. I'm actually really curious about how many kids they have here and kind of what the day looks like. Um, so that's gonna be really exciting. Today is quite cold. It's like, what is it, minus 15, I think? So we're gonna pick up the kids and we're gonna walk home because that is what he usually does. So we're just waiting for him to arrive so we can hang out with him and his kids for a day. Let's do it. Let me just quickly show you where we are and make some introductions. Longyearbyen is the main village on Svalbard, an island close to the North Pole. Today's story is set in the dark polar night of early February this year. We are spending two days with Arvidas, the Arctic carpenter and his beautiful family. We want to see what life is really like living on a remote island in the Arctic with two small kids. The family consists of Arvidas, Agne, Gabia and little Medena. And of course their lovely dog Ayla. My name is Cecilia, and if you haven't been around here before, welcome! And if you have been here before, welcome back! Come on, Hello! We need to go to parking! Take out! I'm Yeah, uh, Gabi is, is actually in the oldest group now because her group starts uh, school at uh, August. And she's so excited! <laughs> yes, very much! <laughs> What I think surprises many is that there are quite a lot of families with kids here in Longyearbyen. There are two kindergartens, a joint primary and high school, a folk high school and a university. Polarflocken is the kindergarten that Gabby goes to, which is located at a pretty central location in the village. Polarflocken houses children in two groups. The little kids group are ages 1 to 3 and the bigger kids group are children between 2 and 6. In Norway, education is obligatory as well as free for children in the ages of 6 to 16. Since daycare isn't covered, this is something you pay for out of pocket. The price for Gabby at this kindergarten is 3,515 Norwegian kroners a month, which is around 330 US dollars. How many times a day are they outside? You know? Yeah, two. One day, Usually twice what, a day. Yeah, before lunch and then like now. In any weather, right? Almost, Almost in anywhere. If it's like feels like minus 30, so maybe they will not gonna go outside, or maybe they will go okay. under the kindergarten. They have a place under the kindergarten. It's kind of like a shelter. What up the bro? Yeah. Usually, kids in Norway they start from one year. Like Gabi started when she was two years and two months. And Medina, yeah. she will not gonna be so lucky, girl. <laughs> she will. No, I don't know if it will be like uh, in August. Yeah. 20 months, let's say, like this. Yeah. Almost, almost two years, years. Yeah, but anyway. Is it difficult to get a spot? Now, no. But when we came with Gabia, we needed to wait four months or yeah. more. Yeah, four months. Four months. They're coming, they're coming, but I'm going. But I'm going. But I'm going. Okay, so. Wow, two cents. Now make. Oh, oh, it's so fint. Oh, I think it's you and Christopher. No? Oh, it is. Ah, Two up to that. Ten out of ten. When we bring, we just put the stripe, and when we taking up kids, we put another. So that means it's gone. 
And we're doing like this because of the fire in case. Yeah, yeah. So they know how many kids is in the kindergarten and yeah. they mark when they go yeah, yeah. if it's a fire. And they actually sometimes they do training, so it's a fire alarm coming yeah. and they need to grab, I don't know, yeah. jacket, let's say, and just to run. And run outside. And they really outside. like it because they like without the clothes <laughs> standing in the cold. Og vi bare tar rett dressen bare på hodet ved tingene. Du, det er lue, du, den har... Oi! Det er første nest bare at det gir kanskje. Gabby is bilingual and almost trilingual. Arvidas and Agne moved here from Lithuania four years ago, so Lithuanian is her mother tongue. She then also speaks Norwegian and a bit of English. I was also very impressed with her understanding so much Swedish, considering many of the words are different. So you will hear her switching between the languages in this video. When me and Arvidas, we want to say something like in secret. Oh, yeah. So we cannot say Lithuanian, we cannot say in Norwegian or English. So now we say in Russian. Yeah, really? <laughs> because she doesn't understand that. Secret language. <laughs> yeah. Like if she wa if she needs to go to sleep or something like this. Yeah. And then we say in Russian and then she's like, hmm. Just a quick break in the video to present today's sponsor. One thing I love about the long period of darkness here on Svalbard is the incredible view of the night sky. It feels like we can see every single star in our galaxy. And one thing I've always wanted to know more about is our stars and our planets. And that's where today's sponsor, Wondrium, has been a tremendous help. Wondrium is where you can find the answer to everything you've ever wondered about and some things you've never imagined you would wonder about. I've been watching the course called Our Night Sky and learned so much about the different stars and constellations as well as the mythology behind them. They have a carefully curated collection of short and long form videos, tutorials, documentaries and more. I can now look at the night sky and recognize over 10 different constellations. One of my favorite constellations has to be the Seven Sisters. And also, did you know that this is the full constellation of Orion? I didn't. Mind blown. Next, I'll be delving into Norse mythology. There are just so many interesting courses to choose from. You can stream Wondrium from just about anywhere. You can even download a course or series and listen to it like a podcast, which is perfect for me when I'm away on cabin trips. Wondrium are giving my viewers the great offer of a free trial. To check it out, head to wondrium.com slash Cecilia Blomdahl or click the link in the description to start your free trial today. If you've ever wondered about anything, Wondrium will be your new favorite place. Okay, now it's been very cold outside and it's warm inside, so so much close. Mama, did you want to Här har du massa ting. Wow, det är så jäkla. Du Okay. It's big this apartment. Mysigt, kos. Och här är det sådana tingen som du brukar inte några gånger. Ah, stor bord. Känner. Okay. <laughs> Hello, my name is Arvidas. Uh, we moved up here because... Of his fault. I got a job up here. <laughs> and we decide to... Go and check it out. Four years ago. Yeah, we live here like 31st of March will be four. Or? Yeah, it's gonna be four years. 31st of March. Before we lived in Norway, 
And uh, Arvidas was working with his colleague, which is colleague now, yeah. here. And <laughs> Good morning! If you've been around here on my channel for a while, you will recognize Arvidas from our cabin build series. He is the incredible carpenter that built our cabin extension. He works at one of the construction companies in town. Agne used to work as an accountant at a local accounting firm before she went on maternity leave. And actually he was always talking about Svalbard, a so good place, so magical place, like with the polar bears and snow scooter. And we agreed I for was, five, Yeah. So I but think... now I actually extend my limits until yeah. six years. Because of the little one. I'm ready to get my makeup done. Are you? Yes. <laughs> the nice tone in music. Like you go to Svalbard, Gabby? Yeah. What do you think about the dark time? It's not the dark time. Good morning. But when it's dark, what do you think about it? It's not so dark. It's not so dark. En enhörning! En enhörning! Oh, <laughs> Allt jag ville vara idag! Så du känner att Gellon Juven har mycket saker att göra när du har barn? Eller vad tror du? Ja, för att vi är väldigt busiga och sen under veckan går Gabi till att sjunga. Och sen går vi 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 till att sjunga. Och Oh, cross okay. country skiing yes. for kids. Gosh. So she did first attempt already. It's oh. on Wednesdays. So there's quite a lot of things. You and can on to Tuesday do. she's going to swimming class. Okay, it sounds like a full schedule. So yes. actually it's Monday and Friday which we have free without anything to do. Oh. Are you ready? Yes. Wow. I mean... Completely. Huh? Oh, wow. What is the most difficult thing about having kids here? Most difficult? Dressing up and undressing. No, it's just because you're lazy. It's not difficult at all. It's very limited time you can spend outdoors with the kids. Even if you like have now what to do, okay. but for Gabi, now, yeah. for Gabia now it's okay. But for for Medina is uh, when they're small and they can't tell you anything, right? Yeah, exactly. They so don't understand like, actually. Mm. So, but yeah, we now when it's as the an second adult, child, yeah. I am very prepared. I have all those down uh, sleeping bags and everything, so it's yeah. okay. Yeah. I know that she will never be cold. But okay. with Gabia, it was like a bit like, oh, yeah, is I it okay? <laughs> And then, of course, I started to like communicate with local people, and then I see, okay, so you using this? That's, yes. that's yeah, clever. Yeah, that's the way. Yeah. Yes. So, what's the best thing about having kids here? Don't lock the doors. Don't lock the car. Don't lock them. <laughs> they can just run. You can be in the shop, Freedom. and they can just be outside, and you know that nobody will gonna take them. Perhaps it's just it's like steal one street them. up to kindergarten. It's quite wide pathway, so. Safety is like no people yeah, drink, drink driving, there is no chefs, anything. So it's like oh. chill. Yeah, that's what I always feel about everything as well. That it's so safe here. Yeah, yes. absolutely. It is the best feeling yeah. in the world to live somewhere where you know that if you walk out the door, yeah. there's not a problem. Even yeah. if you have kids or just for yourself as a woman, that's what I feel. Like yeah. I'm the most safe yeah, I've absolutely. ever been here. One hundred percent safe. Car keys is in the car, car is open, <laughs> home is open. I actually like I as well the thing. kindergarten. It's so yeah. like, they can do like uh, whatever they want. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. It's around. very open, open minded, how to say. I don't know, maybe it's in all in Norway, I'm very like free. Yeah. They are happy there, they play whatever. I think. Never mind. Says no. <laughs> no. No. We're just gonna stand behind the camera and scream. Ati. Ati, what's that? Ati, what's this? Hela gänget. Titta hela familjen. What's that, girl? So with the polar night, 
everybody always asks it must be so difficult on the kids and you know yeah. how do they deal with it what do you think on the kids they don't feel it at all Nothing. and actually this is our fourth polar night here yep. and it was the easiest for me because I had very good routine with Medina. So she always wake up same time, we go same time to have a lunch sleep. We go same time to pick Gabia from kindergarten and then same time to bed. So it's actually, I was like looking today at the windows like, wow, so much light outside. It goes so It's like, yeah. this is it. So it's all about, so it's all about routine. Yeah. yeah. Mama, your biscuits. Okay. Good butt. Oi. I don't even know how to do stuff like this. It's just so little. Oi. No, 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 one thing that you can't do here on Svalbard is give birth. The hospital doesn't have the facilities for it, so pregnant mothers are encouraged to leave the island one month before the due date at the latest. Home births are also not encouraged because if anything goes wrong, you are hours away from getting the help you need. There have been instances when babies have arrived a little earlier than expected. And in those cases, our local hospital had to take care of the birth. But like I said, it is not something that the hospital is equipped for. I, I almost all the time need to make two dishes because I'm vegetarian and I, this is meat lover. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I eat like uh, seafood. I was in Lithuania. I was I chose to be uh, back home, so it was very nice. <laughs> so you were here until what month? Uh, no, I was like until maybe yeah. s months. six. Six months. Yeah. Because it was my holiday at work, and then starts everything else so yeah it was okay but gabby has she been born in norway <laughs> and medina yeah in lithuania when she been born i been in oslo airport yeah oh, okay. i know that was so but i came I mean, the same day so it's it's so funny because <laughs> it just started too early like 10 days too early yeah and I was like, Medina, we need to wait until your papa is coming. And she went so fast. <laughs> so, yeah. And I was like, Arvide, look, the baby's here. I get the message, we're going to the hospital. My flight is after three hours. Okay. And then she sent me a picture with the baby. Ska vi ta nästa? Vad har vi här då? Hallå! As they sit down for dinner, we prepare to go home for the day. We will return tomorrow to see what a Saturday looks like for the family. But that will be next week's video as this will be a two-part series. The weather is set to be a crispy minus 20 Celsius, and I'm very curious as how you dress a little kid who can't tell you that they're cold for these temperatures. Feel free to drop any questions in the comments and I might be able to answer them in part two. And thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to get notifications when I post, head to the link in the description to check out Wondrium, and I will see you next week. All right, bye.